Hello and welcome to another games time for our Friday video. Now, what you need today is a notebook and a pen. Okay, so I'm going to give you a moment to try and grab one of those. Or you might just want to pause and groan while you go and grab one. We're going to play a game that we play sometimes with some of our older children called Draw on Your Head. Now remember, don't to draw don't draw on your actual head. You're going to use your notebook. Okay, so here we go. Here's my notebook and I'm going to put it on top of my head and I'm going to try and draw a picture and I want you to try it at home as well and see how well we do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to try and draw is we're going to try and draw a flower. Hmm. What do you think? The middle and the petals maybe with a stem and some leaves. Should we give it a go? Let's see how we do. We're going to try and draw a flower. So I'm going to make sure I can't see the camera. That would be cheating. So circle, middle bit, and then petals. That's my thinking face. Do you do a thinking face? And a stem, and one leaf, and two leaves. What do you think? Think it's going to look like a flower? Oh, you know what? That's not bad at all. My petals sort of left the middle a bit, but never mind. How was yours? Did you manage to draw a flower? Okay. I'm going to turn my notebook over. I'm going to draw something else. This time, I'm going to try and draw a house. With some walls and a roof and some windows and a door. Maybe even a chimney and some smoke. All right, you're going to join in. Here we go. Okay. So, square house with the roof. I've tried not to take my pen off, so I know where it is. One window, two windows, and a door, and a chimney, and some smoke. What do we think? I'm not sure about this one. Oh dear, oh dear, my roof's falling off and my windows aren't going. Look at the door. Oh dear, that one didn't go very well at all, did it? Hmm, I think we need to try one more. Okay, so I've got one more blank page. I'm going to try and draw a face. So we need one, two eyes, and a nose, and a mouth, and maybe two ears, a big face, and maybe some curly whirly hair, like my curly whirly hair at the minute. Okay, so we're going to try and draw a face. So that's around one eye, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, and then some curly whirly hair. Oh, and I've got ear, and an ear. Okay. Oh. Dear. I don't think I look very well, do I? I did manage to get the middle of my eyes in the right place, but my mouth fell off. Oh dear, how did you do? Maybe you're a bit better at it than me. I want us to think today about our amazing God and the things that he made and the fact that luckily for us, they're much better than the drawings I did on my head. So I'm going to read to you a little bit one of the psalms which are the poems and the songs okay he is the maker of heaven and earth the sea and everything in them he remains faithful forever isn't that amazing god made everything there is not just our earth but our solar system and our galaxy and the whole universe and i'll tell you what He's much better at it than I would ever be. And aren't we thankful to him for all he's made? Well, I hope you've had fun. I hope you did some drawing on your head. Maybe you can try it again. Maybe you can challenge your mums and dads and big sisters and all that. So have some fun and I'll see you again soon. Bye.